Uh, hey guys, uh, today is my first of many videos involving 432 buckyballs, yay. Um, as some of you know, I recently bought a set of Zen magnets. And so half is buckyballs, half is Zen magnets. Um, I'm just trying to upload a video now and it's not cooperating. It's taking forever and it's not even like attempting to work and it's really starting to piss me off um, so maybe that'll be up eventually but uh, uh, maybe some of you guys have seen that one buckyballs vs sand magnets video the guy actually measured buckyballs and magnets made uh, several different tests for them uh, to see which one was better and the sand magnets did come out on top but as I researched some more that guy uh, had a lot to do with Zen Magnets. So he was totally against Buckyballs and uh, obviously he preferred Zen Magnets so he made them win in the video. And when I actually went and unboxed the Zen Magnets brand new, I had a year and a half old Buckyballs and I set them both to the test. Same shape, uh, strength test wise, and I pushed them slowly until they broke off. And the Buckyballs had crazy magnetic strength compared to the Zen Magnets uh, as a group of four so like a strand of two on top of two so it would be like a block going going and then wait until it snaps uh, the Buckyballs did win for that but when I made a structure out of the Zen Magnets the Zen Magnets did win over the Buckyballs like in a structure the Zen Magnets definitely but in a strand or two strands or whatever Buckyballs is definitely on top so in the long run, they're both good balls to get. Uh, today I'll be teaching you guys how to make a solid decahedron. So hopefully I'm saying that right. I don't even care. Uh, also known as the unbreakable shape. Uh, I'll teach you how to make that right now. Uh, go ahead and take five balls from your string. So like that. Fold it in half. I mean, you just want to make a pentagon like that. Wrap your string of balls around at one time. like that so it'll look like this make sure that uh, your first pentagon made of five balls is on top a bit so it's kinda offset like that and it makes a little indent cone thing I think there's ten balls around the bottom I might be miscounting so don't quote that uh, take one ball and put it right on top of that hole there and now this step is really really important you're just gonna take one single ball get it. <laughs> there we go. One one single ball and you're just going to pop it right in the middle of that shape you made. Like that. Without that ball, it throws off the whole uh magnetic whatever of the shape so it won't form properly, which is rather weird. It's just one shape though. Uh go ahead and take uh five more balls. Fold it into a five ball pentagon just like we did earlier and then you're gonna put it right on top of that uh, one ball if they push away like they do so say if I took it to the side this is a good way to do it so you don't screw up it'll attach like that that's not what we want so we're gonna flip it and we want it to do that and uh, see how it grabs in between the balls that's what we want uh, this is a good step and a good thing to get into if you're gonna make the shape often is put it on the side like we did and push it up so you want to ride the balls up on top of it and then just fold it down on top so that's what we get and then we're gonna put one ball on top of that pentagon and that's our shape um, the shape can be made with this many balls, this thing can be made with a million balls. Uh, no matter how many buckyballs you have, uh, you can make this shape, which is the cool thing. Uh, so that was the hardest part of this shape. Um, basically, uh, the first process, or the first half, if we cut this in half and took the this half off, that's all we're making. We're just making it bigger and bigger and bigger 
putting it on. So you can put this to the side. That's just our main core. Uh, now you're going to take another five balls from your string. Uh, make a make a pentagon out of five balls like that. Uh, wrap the string around uh, twice now because the first one we did uh, twice already. So that would be two times. And then you're going to wrap around once more. And it'll look like this. So the main one, second layer, and the third layer. Basically, all you're doing is adding a layer to each step. And you can put one ball on the top. I uh, like that. If mine will stick there. There we go. And now comes the fun part. Uh, take that core you made earlier. And all you have to do is stick it to the side of this. Make sure it sticks in between the balls, not with them. And like I said, the easier way, because if I was to just fold it like this, it wouldn't go in properly and it'd screw up. Uh, so if you push the, if you bend it down, push it up so it rides on top of the balls there, and then fold it in. And then just push the sides down and look, it's the exact same core we made, just one size bigger which is cool because you don't really know what you're making and then once you put it on and it kind of just forms there it's pretty cool um, so I only have 432 balls so it only be like this big but there's people out there with like 3000 and that would that's the one video you guys probably all seen might even be in the description and uh, I think it's called the unbreakable shape and it's basically just one of these just huge but I don't have that many balls so Guy must be rich. Uh, so here we want to wrap it around f three, three times now. Nope, four times, because we already wrapped it around twice. So uh, there's two. That's three times, and we're gonna wrap it around once more. And you'll make this. And once again, put the ball on the top. Take your core, attach it to the side. See, mine are grabbing like that. That's what you don't want. So I'm gonna flip this over. That's gonna grab nicely. And I'm gonna bend this down, push it up until it rides on top. Fold it in. Push down the sides there. And see, it's getting bigger and bigger. And uh, now we're going to make the same original pentagon out of five balls. And we're going to wrap around five times now. So, like I said, it's a very easy shape to make. Um, you can make it with 216, which most people, that's all most people have. Um, and you can make it with a million if you wanted to just gets bigger and bigger alright now you'll have this I believe that's five times or one two three four yep that's five and then take your one ball just drop it in the middle get your core touch to the side flip it bring it up drop it in pinch the sides down and everything comes together nicely and it is completely solid in the middle which is the cool thing and it makes it ridiculously like like it's already fairly heavy and compact and it's really durable. So now we're going to go ahead and make the same shape. Wrap around six, seven, seven times now. So there's one. and it just gets bigger and bigger that might be too many one two three four five six seven no nope, that's what we want so let me put one in the middle 
Actually, I think I made one size too big. What? I did. See, this is uh, seven, and I wanted to make six. So I'll just put that aside because that's the one I'll be making next, anyways. Uh, you'd be done the shape already if you only made. Or if you only had 216 balls, like I'm, I'm out of my string already, and I have 432. So, unfortunately, their 216 shape of this won't be very cool. But so all I'm doing is wrapping it around six times because the shape I made earlier was seven times. So there we go, pop in the middle, and uh, this is what I'll have left. So I'll have four balls left over uh, from a 432 piece set. So 432, 30, 29. So 428 balls I used in total. So the one that we made six layers of, we're just gonna attach to our core. Bend it up. Drop it in like that. And uh, even if you screw up, like I've actually squished this thing and just played with it for a bit and it molded right back into this shape. And cause just because it's so uh, structurally formed, I guess. It's really cool. So the last one for my set, I guess, is just take the seven layered one, wrap it around. Drop that in there, and it all comes together nicely. And uh, here is our solid decahedron shape, or the unbreakable shape. Which, if you grab it, it um, it feels like any two points, especially these main two. I've actually took two hands, like ah. Uh, Hurts no matter how hard I try. Ah, uh, you can't break it. Like ah, <sighs> that'll break for sure. If I put it on the table like this and then pushed here, it kind of starts to crack down the middle. But that's why I quote it: "Unbreakable." It's not really true, but like it's it's solid, all right. <laughs> like, look, nothing even happened. I can full-on drop the thing from a foot. This is from a foot. See, that's from a foot. That's all that happened. And all I have to do is put that all back in place. And look, it's back into original form. It's uh, generally pretty good. And uh, that's how you make the unbreakable shape. Not <laughs> and it's still still intact. It is cool. But yeah.